people who their mission is to more accumulate more things in the world, more land, more money, more another business, another shopping mall, let me buy another restaurant, let me buy another car, let me add more homes, la, 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 which you have, you know these people, and their goal is ma accumulation of materials in the world, so that becomes their God. Money becomes their God. Money becomes their objective. That becomes the most important thing. And they're willing to walk on other people. They're willing to destroy families. They're willing to destroy the land to get things for themselves. And it doesn't, they don't care about anyone else. They just want to accumulate more. Let me have more boyfriends, girlfriends, sleep with more people, take more drugs, alcohol, da 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 da, -da boats, yachts, da 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 da. That's my objective. More, 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 more bigger stock, more of money in stock markets, in cryptocurrency, in da 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 Bitcoin, this, that. So what happens is now you have turned your back to the sun, to the sun is shining, and you're, when your back is towards the sun, then your shadow falls in front of you. You can just examine it. Go outside and turn your back to the sun, and your shadow is in front of you. What is the shadow? Shadow is the materials, things. Things that you think if you get them is going to make you happy. But that hasn't happened yet. So now you start running after it. And the more you run after your shadow, means your back is towards the sun, your shadow is in front of you, and you keep running after your shadow, your shadow is always two meters ahead of you. You never get to it. So you're trying to find peace in the world by finding another lover, by maybe having kids, by maybe having the ideal life, money, power, fame. And you keep running after it, but it's always, you never get to it. Because God is not in your life anymore. You turn your back to God and you're going after the world. And those of us here, you have turned your back to the world and you're coming towards the sun because you're here and you've been here for the past seven days. I think we need to open that. Should I do it? I can do it myself. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, you can just walk by it. Huh? Yeah. Great. Maybe open it more. Hopefully, no one's going to make any noise outside. Thank you. When you turn your face your, towards the sun, means then your shadow is behind you. Now, you're walking towards the sun. Your shadow is coming after you. Means you have... If you're a sannyasin, if you're a lover of the truth, and you're looking for God, love, peace, you're looking for inner peace, you're looking for recognizing your divine oneness, you want bliss, you want to be happy in your life, always, not just conditional, happy, unconditional, then you come to the divine. You're going towards the sun. Not the world is coming after you. Your shadow is chasing you. Try it. Go outside. Turn your back to the sun. Tur turn towards the sun and you see your shadow is behind you. Now the world is coming after you. The world is coming, chasing you. But now you're kind of ignorant to it. 
You don't care. You're only one union. You're one your beloved. You're one God. Now, the world is coming after you, but you don't care about it. Is it making sense? Do you see that? Because we can't find any peace or love in the utter world, including our mind and our emotions or in the body, because they're all world, worldly. There are materials, objects of the world, and none of them can complete the task. And some of you have done that. Some of you at one point in your life, you had everything or you had enormous beauty and you have a lot of people wanting to be with you. You reach your peak. And at that time you had everything, but you still weren't happy. You still were hunted by worry. If you're super beautiful, you worry one day you lose your beauty. If you're super re rich, you're always worried about losing your wealth. If you're a parent, you're worried about losing your children. It doesn't matter how much you have accumulated, as long as you haven't mastered your mind, you always worry about something. And let's say you have everything in your life, but then you worry that maybe you're diagnosed by cancer. The moment you feel a little lump here and something is gathered around your head, in your head, or here, or here, and you think it's a tumor, cancer is tumor, now you're worried about it. It's your mind you have to master. It's not the material in the world, my friend. So you need to invest at the right place, at the right time, to master yourself and be done with it. Do it the one time, do it correctly, do it as long as it takes, and be done, finished. And we have nothing to do with each other afterwards. You got to go do your own thing. We just complete this transaction together. Then go live your life happily thereafter. But it would be a different life because you're no longer ruled and hunted by fear, worry, anxiety, depression. None of these things ever, never can touch you. You feel them when they're there. You acknowledge their presence, but you know you're not them. You're no longer an illusion. You are free. And that's got to be the mission. Okay, that's a very good question, Miss Amy. Can I unmute you and you come up with good questions? I like that. All right. Do you mind if you ask your question so everybody else can hear it? Um. So I was asking, um, how do you deal with the, the collective fear that we're basically feeling now in this particular time, or particularly with COVID? Right. Same, same way that I deal with my personal fear. Um, the same way. Exact same thing. I simply observe it. There... Look, the more you become, if you feel the collective fear, is, it's a good, good news. It means you are sensitive. And you're expanding. And your antennas are picking up the fear. 